Step 6. Creating the 2D script. Open the 2D script of the door object. Type the following code into the 3D script. We will create two different versions of the 2D of the door depending on the floor plan scale. We wish to create a bit more detailed 2D symbol in case the floor plan scale in which the door will be displayed is 1 to 50 or less. The globe underscore scale global variable can be used especially for this purpose. Globe underscore scale always returns the scale of the current view. In the case of a 2D script of a door, this means the floor plan scale. When the door is placed into a wall, ARCHICAD draws its 2D based on the 2D script. We want ARCHICAD to check the scale set in the floor plan window and create different 2Ds based on its value. Type the following code into the 3D script, replacing the previously placed commands. In the first line, we set a variable called inside underscore frame underscore half, which is the distance from the door center to the inside of the frame along the X axis. We will use this value in subsequent commands. Let's look at the commands placed between the if and the else commands. The first 2D command is the rect2 command. This is a new command we use and it's a simple one. It simply creates a rectangle in 2D. The first two parameters define the X and Y coordinates of one of its corners and the next two define X and Y coordinates of the corner opposite from the first defined corner. The two rect2 commands create the two rectangles which symbolize the frame of the door on the two sides. The line 2 command symbolizes the door panel in its 90 degree open position. The arc 2 command symbolizes the 90 degree opening angle of the door in 2D. The hotspots 2 command placed a hotspot at the end of the door panel line so we'll be able to select it by that point. The commands placed between the else and the end if command are very similar to those between the if and else commands there are only two differences. The door panel is created with a rect2 command instead of the line2 command plus the hotspot at the end of the door panel is at a bit of a different location. Click the 2D full view button to see the 2D of the door. The door is displayed at a scale of 1 to 100. The door panel is symbolized by a line. At the lower left corner of the 2D full view window click the scale button and set the scale to 1 to 50 in the appearing dialog. Click OK to accept this change. As you can see, the panel of the door is now displayed with a rectangle. Set the scale back to 1 to 100. And return to the 2D script. As you can see, it's relatively easy to create objects that respond to scale changes in what they display. Type the following code into the 2D script after the end if command. With these hotspot definitions, we create four hotspots at the four corners of the door frame, so we'll be able to select the door by these points. We place these after the if then structure because these hotspot definitions are the same regardless of what scale the door is displayed in. Now, save the door object. Go back to the floor plan and make sure the 9.4 door placement saved view is activated. Select the door placed in the wall. You can see the 2D of the door is now displayed according to the way it is scripted in the 2D script and it is based on the current scale. You can also see that the hotspots of the door are there. This concludes this chapter.